Hi, it's Maureen Muldoon, and we are on Lesson 92 of A Course in Miracles, The Workbook Lessons. And 92 says, Miracles are seen in light, and light and strength are one. The idea for today is an extension of the previous one. You do not think of light in terms of strength and darkness in terms of weakness. That is because your idea of what seeing means is tied up with the body and its eyes and brain, and thus you believe that you can change what you see by putting little bits of glass before your eyes. This is among the many magical beliefs that come from the conviction that you are a body and the body's eyes can see. You also believe that the body's brain can think. If but you understood the nature of thought, you could but laugh at this insane idea. It is as if you thought you held the match that lit the sun and gave it all its warmth, or that you held the world within your hands, securely bound, until you let it go. Yet this is no more foolish than to believe that the body's eyes can see, the brain can think. It's God's strength in you that is the light in which you see, as it is his mind with which you think. His strength denies your weakness. It is your weakness that sees through the body's eyes, peering about in darkness to behold the likeness of itself, the small, the weak, the sickly, and the dying, those in need, the helpless, the afraid, the sad, the poor, the starving, and the joyless. These are seen through eyes that cannot see and cannot bless. Strength overlooks these things by seeing past appearances. That's a huge and important piece of information. It keeps its steady gaze upon the light that lies beyond them. It unites with light of which it is a part. It sees itself. It brings the light into yourself. It brings the light in which yourself appears. In darkness you perceive a self that is not there. Strength is the truth about you. Weakness is an idol, fallacy, worshipped and adorned, that strength may be dispelled, and darkness rule where God appointed that there should be light. Strength comes from truth and shines with light its source has given it. Weakness reflects the darkness of its maker. It is sick and looks on sickness which is like itself. Truth is a savior and can only will for happiness and peace for everyone. It gives its strength to everyone who asks in unlimited supply. It sees that lack in anyone would be a lack in all. And so it gives its light that all may see and benefit as one. Its strength is shared that it may bring to all the miracles in which they will unite in purpose and forgiveness and in love. Weakness which looks in darkness cannot see a purpose in forgiveness and in love. It sees all others different from itself and nothing in the world that it would share. It judges and condemns but does not love. In darkness it remains to hide itself and dreams that it is strong and conquering, a victor over limitations that but grow in darkness to enormous size. It fears and it attacks and hates itself. Whew. It fears and it attacks and hates itself, and darkness covers everything it sees and leaves its dreams as fearful as itself. No miracles are here, but only hate. It separates itself from what it sees, while light and strength perceive themselves as one. The light of strength is not the light you see. It does not change and flicker and go out. It does not shift from day to night and back to darkness till the morning comes again. The light of strength is constant, sure as love, forever glad to give itself away, because it cannot give but to itself. No one can ask in vain to share its sight, and none who enter its abode can leave without a miracle before his eyes, and strength, and strengthen the light abiding in his heart. I love that line. No one can ask in vain to share its sight. And none who enter its abode can leave without a miracle before his eyes and strengthen the light abiding in his heart. The strength in you will offer you the light and guide your seeing so that you do not dwell in idle shadows that the body's eyes provide for self-deception. Strength and light unite in you 
and where they meet yourself stands ready to embrace you as its own. Gosh, that's beautiful. Strength and light unite in you and where they meet yourself stands ready to embrace you as its own. Mm, mm, mm. It's good stuff, right? Such is the, such is the meeting, meeting place we try today to find and rest in. For the peace of God is where yourself, his son, is waiting now to meet itself and be as one. Let us give 20 minutes twice today to join this meeting. Let yourself be brought unto yourself. Its strength will be the light in which the gift of sight is given you. Leave, then, the dark a little while today, and we will practice seeing in the light, closing the body's eyes and asking truth to show us how to find the meeting place of self and self. It's using small s and capital S of self and self. Where light and strength are one. Morning and evening we will practice thus. After the morning meeting we will use the day in preparation for the time at night when we will meet again in trust. Let us repeat as often as we can the idea for today and recognize that we are being introduced to sight and led away from the darkness to the light where all miracles can be perceived. So this lesson is all about actually seeing and as long as we have a need in this world, as long as we have a desire to fix something or change something, we're seeing with the body's eyes. But when we can see all things as equally good and beautiful and holy, not to fear, not to change, not to shift, not to it, not to negotiate, not to massage, not to navigate, not to judge, if we just see things as is, uh, then we're experiencing uh, light and you know, and and the world will begin to take on less and less and less value. It will just be, uh, and that's a very refreshing thing for us. That's a very refreshing way for us to navigate the world, uh, to um, to be in the world but not of the world. And all of this is possible for us as we continue to practice these lessons and you know and let go and just experience love, which is the current events. <laughs> love is, you know, of Course in Miracles says we could say God is and cease to speak. We could also say love is and cease to speak. So this is what they're, we're being guided to do today, to simply say love is and then tuck in, close your eyes, you know, and go in towards your divine and seek to know and experience the light, the love, and the, the strength of light and love, as um, actually is what they're pointing out in this lesson, and it's the light and strength are one. So I'm going to go ahead and practice my 20 minutes, and uh, I hope that you do the same. Thanks for taking the ride with me. God bless. Namaste. Mm-hmm.